So we're looking at a quarter of the hypertensive population of the American uh, of the American population has well controlled hypertension, despite having really effective medications. Mm-hmm. Why? The diagnosis <laughs> sucks, right? Like that's plain and simple, right? Hypertension can be caused by so many things. You can be stressed. You can be anxious. You can uh, be, you know, you can have metabolic health issues, right? You can have sleep apnea. You can have thyroid dysfunction. Um, so many different, and then you can have organic causes like, you know, renal artery stenosis and kidney function issues, right? But there are some forms of that, right? But what is the main form of hypertension? Like 85 to 95% of hypertension cases? Essential. It's called essential, <laughs> right? Primary, it, which basically means we don't, we don't know. We have no idea what the cause is or it's idiopathic if we want to sound mm-hmm. fancy about we don't know what it is, right? It's insane. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a scenario where if you just follow the protocol, and you have a good medication, a good effective therapy, it's still not helpful, right? You need to step out of that algorithmic reductionistic mindset of, you know, problem solution, right? And figure out what, why that problem is there. And that's when we'll start to actually, you know, get somewhere, right? And we're not just, we're actually helping the patient, not just being like, check the box, we did blood pressure, here's the medication.